Okay, so now we have the forward spar carry through in place and the aft spar carry through in place as well. And this is how the tail comes together. So we've got the vertical stabilizer that gets attached to the forward and aft uh, carry, carry through. And then we have the front portions of the horizontal stabilizers, which as we talked about earlier, these parts come basically kind of completed from Titan because they are foam wrapped uh, alu uh, aluminum wrapping a foam core that then has this spar, this very strong forward spar as part of it in the front. Now it's really important that everything with our fuselage gets leveled both fore and aft and laterally so that we can make sure that everything is square. So we have actually gone and done that. The levels are in place, everything's set, and all I did off camera here was clamp these uh, for this forward portion of these horizontal stabilizer pieces in place. Now that is so that we can get the positioning correct in exactly how it fits in this forward carry through spar. With this in place and with the vertical stabilizer on, we can now also attach the vertical stabilizer to the frame and this first station 12 upper bulkhead. So that's a lot of things we're talking about. But the bottom line is we're talking about securing the vertical stabilizer to the frame. That happens at the back here, which you can see if I just turn the camera, it happens at the back, which is the aft spar edge of the vertical stabilizer. It happens midway here. There's a rib that's inside here and an attachment point on the station number 13 um, bulkhead area. It happens over here, which is in between, and this is where it attaches to this bulkhead, and then it happens at station 12 at the front. So all of these stations are attached, and all of it comes together so that we can ensure that this is square from our horizontal stabilizer to our vertical stabilizer on both sides. So uh, very, very important step. We get this square and we're good to go from here because we have to build ribs from this. We have to build and then attach our uh, elevators and our rudder. Everything gets put on after this, but this specific stage is key. So um, we're gonna give you some close up pictures and I can kind of describe some of that to you. I've clamped some things in place, but let's get and drill some of these pieces into place now that we have them lined up. Now, another point of things that we do here, one of the things that's really helpful is all along the way, where any part that we put on the aircraft here, we're marking the center point. We mark the center point, if you look uh, over here, I'll zoom in. So this is a plate that then attaches this base rib of our vertical stabilizer. I can uh, move that a little bit out of the way so you can see. This vertical stabilizer base rib then gets attached to this number 12 upper bulkhead. By drawing midline on this, by having the midline that came from the factory drawn here on this rib, and then by taking this piece that we can, there we go, that we can see is going to attach it and marking those points and what the middle points are, we can actually line that up and then go and drill and put that in place. Now, let's back up a little bit from this. As all of this is going on at the front, we also have to address the back. Now, let's uh, align this. One of the things that you can imagine is very important is that this vertical tail has to be straight, straight up and down as well. We already leveled the fuselage. So, for us to do that, what we do is we actually hang a plumb bob, which you can see here, and that draw that, and we drew a line and marked what is the center. So if I go around this way and look forward at this, we can see that this plumb line hangs from the very top straight down. And then what we are doing is we're going and aligning it by tilting that front back and forth with a mark that we've placed. And you can barely see the mark because we moved our, or we've got it already aligned up. If I move this aside, you can see that mark. Now, an interesting thing about aircraft design when we talk about this 
is that the vertical stabilizer on aircraft is not directly in line with the aircraft. We need it to be angled slightly to offset the torque of the engine, the p-factor of the engine, so that the aircraft will fly straight. So on any aircraft you will generally find that the vertical stabilizer is not actually directly fore and aft, it's actually angled. So if we look in here, we can actually see two lines. The first line here, that's the center line. That's the line that we're lining up to actually get this rib straight to attach here. This other line, that is the line that leads back to the front of the vertical stabilizer because the vertical stabilizer is actually canted to the left to make that work. So that has other implications. What it means then is that when we look back here at the attachment for the rear portion of the vertical stabilizer, we find that this whole section here is going to be a little bit angled. Remember, we're canting the entire thing to the left. So that means that this side that is away from you will be directly up against the frame, and this side here will be pushed a little bit to the right. Why? Because the entire thing is canted a little bit to the left. So we're going to put spacers in here where this attaches to the frame in the form of wide fender washers and then we can get everything secured and perfectly aligned. And there are also dimensional checks that we do to make sure that everything is square. One of them is a measurement that's given to us in the manual to go from this specific point out to the forward edge of our stabilizer. And that comes out as expected right at 61 and a half. Then we go to the other side and do the exact same thing. And that also comes out to the same distance. And when we secure it we'll be making sure that that measurement adds up to exactly what we want. But right now in its temporary position, even though things are still a little uh, uh, loose, uh, it still lines up great and so we're in good shape. This piece right here is the lower hinge bracket for the rudder and that gets installed at the bottom of this vertical stabilizer and this is the rear spar of the vertical stabilizer. So we have to get all of this positioned and we did that. I just temporarily clamped this in place but we're using a bunch of measurements to make this happen. First of all, we still have our plumb bob line coming down, showing us that the vertical stabilizer is true because that's part of this process. The two bolts that are gonna go through this actually secure it and finish off this vertical stabilizer, making sure that it is actually straight. And so one of the things that we do is we use this um, little digital level and 
I go and I put this up for up front. Um, I'm putting it up on what we already leveled to. So we leveled the fuselage and then we also leveled the forward spar for our horizontal stabilizers. So our horizontal stabilizers are level. We've got that all set. That reads zero degrees. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that gently on top of this. Let it all settle down a little bit from everything kind of moving and jumping around a little bit. And we're at zero. So now what I can do is I can actually use that as a template, drill through it, we'll be right at zero and we should uh, have our points going right through. Now I also did measure the distance top to bottom so that we know that we've got an, a uh, correct distance for hanging our rudder. So um, let's get those holes drilled. <laughs> All right, so the vertical stabilizer is now in place. It's temporarily held using all the points that will eventually become the permanent fixtures on there. So we've got clecos and bolts in place that are holding it. It is straight and true, and we are now ready to move on to the other steps of the process. This allows us now to do the rest of the horizontal stabilizer to get to the uh, elevators, to put the rudder on here. Everything is all set, and then we can actually attach the control systems and see how the rudder and elevators work. All all the way from the stick and the pedals in the front. This will be the first opportunity uh, that lets us see actually working uh, from sitting in the cockpit. So that's certainly an exciting thing to look forward to. Anyway, until then, be sure to check out socialflight.com. Get the free app and go to the website. It's got tens of thousands of aviation events, prizes, all sorts of things that are beneficial to you and great, great places to fly. So be sure to check that out. There's other webinars coming up from us, very interesting things along those lines. And until then, thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Simon from Social Flight, Blue Skies.